So really briefly speaking, we're going to do a short demo on the wall here before we go out. And the main reason why we do this is, if we do this right, you see we get a nice little hole there. So now what we're going to do is pour like half of the resin in there, okay? So I'm going to get back in there again. While it's all soft, but actually all your tools are going to be cleaned with water. You don't need any solvent or any K or anything. So what we typically do when we're done with this is, I'll put this in a can and just give it a spin to get the excess off. And then what I'll do is put a spray in the pail of water. Give it a spin and then leave it there. Another important thing about epoxy is, is that if they, you leave that in mass like this, it'll kick off and cure a lot faster. So to give yourself more working time and time to distribute or spread out the product. So that's why we have these boards that we'll do is we'll, we'll put a little bit on each one, man. And, uh, yeah. yeah, like a toothpaste. Um, See, you know, if you want to control the thickness, if you use a 16 inch, I mean, an 18 inch notch trial like this, and then you come back and knock it flat, now you have a nice even 16 inch of it. As you can see, it's, it's filling the bug holes, but it's even created like that. You just need it back the other way. See how it pulls them up nicely. Yeah, it's actually a lot easier to use. <laughs> Dimitri, he's much better than you are. Yeah, should be. <laughs> well, he's good. I can see that. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> That is exactly the way. There you go. You can come back and smooth it up.